when you create, how much do you allow the happy mistakes to happen versus strict control? Like I'm going to paint, you know, this and it's going to look exactly like this or. I think it's a, it's sort of a half, half and half maybe. Um, you have to know in music, painting, movies, everything's the same, but you've, you've got to know what the, or you've got to think you know at least what the good mistakes are and what the bad mistakes are. I mean, in, in music, you can have sort of a rough sound, like rough around the edges, but you have to know what what you can accept as a, as a rough patch and what needs to be sort of maybe smoothed out and, and forced into a certain spot. And it's the same with paint. Sometimes paint doesn't do what you think it's going to do, but you can, you know, maybe that's, um, maybe that's a more desirable way for things to be, you know, happening. So you can, yeah, I think it's a sort of give and take with any, with any of this stuff that I do. Balance. It's like a constant, uh, push and pull against, against nature, basically. <laughs> you know how these sound waves are affecting this certain scene in a movie. Now, do you want it to affect it that way? Or do you want to pull back a little bit? Or do you want to, you know, or do you want to bring that out even more? Or, you know, there's just so much, uh, so many possibilities.